Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com and in this video, we're going to tackle the US states challenge. So now we have completed all of the challenges in the string challenges section. So lowercase all the way through abbreviator challenge or you should have completed it. If you didn't, that's okay. Just follow along from here, okay? And then later you can go back and do the other ones. Um, and then after this, we have uh, just three more, two more challenges left after this one, okay? So we're almost at the finish line. Now in this challenge, it's gonna have to do with United States states, okay? Hence US states challenge. And basically how it works, it's just like a dictionary, it's like a lookup, okay? So you give me a state like NC and I give you back North Carolina. If you give me uh, CA, I give you back California. What happens if I give you IL? You give me back Illinois. If you're not in the United States, then you won't know this at the top of your head. But, you know, U.S. has 50 states um, and each state has like an acronym, two letters long. And that turns into like bigger one, like NY is going to be New York. So you could you basically what you would have to do is create a giant dictionary right with key value pairs that's what you would have to do so for example you'd create something called uh, states like a dictionary like this and you would say ny colon new york okay um, and then how you would use that is you would say states and you would index it by ny and what this would return is New York. Okay, kind of like that. Now, if we had this dictionary be bigger and have more elements in it, it would look like, you know, it would have a, another key called CA. And then the value of this key would be California. Okay, just like that. So now, if I take this, I put it in my command line, right? So I open up, let's say my command line, I go into Python, I paste that dictionary, it's not getting pasted. Okay, there it is. I paste that dictionary, I do states. Now if I do states and Y, what you'll notice is it gives me back New York, exactly what we wanted. And I'll do states and then I'll do CA this time and it gives us back California, cool. Okay, so now that we have both of our states, we would just have to repeat this process for all of the 50 states. But as you know, that that could take up a lot of typing or a lot of copy pasting, even if you go to something like Wikipedia. So uh, what they did for us, which is very nice of them, I'm gonna comment this out, is uh, they created another file, it's called us.py, okay? And this file has basically a long dictionary called states and it has the key value pairs for all the states. So for example, AK is Alaska, AL is Alabama, AR is Arkansas. And then if you keep going down the same way, right? And then we see NY is New York. Uh, and if I search for IL, which is right here, IL, Illinois, boom, done, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leverage the dictionary that they gave us. So here we say from US import states. So what that basically means is now we have access to the variable states. And when we do states, we get back this, uh, this variable states. That's it, okay? But the reason why we put it in another file is so it's easier for us to um, see our code in this file. Otherwise, it'll get too messy. Like for example, I can copy it and just paste it in here. But you can see like it just takes up a lot of space. So it's not really necessary. Uh, and plus, we're learning how to import files, which is an amazing thing to learn. And it's it makes you a magician in coding because you can use other people's libraries and other people's existing code to make it work with your own. And you don't you can basically build on the shoulders of giants. OK, so let's go down here and uh, figure out what the answer is. So at this point, try pausing the video and see if you can come up with a solution. Whatever solution you come up with, put it in the comments below. And if you're on YouTube, click the link below so you can go onto my website, code it up in there, and then post your solution in the comment section below and then I'll take a look at it. Um, and right now, I'm just gonna go through and show you the answer. I'm gonna work through it live. So I'll figure it out with you. So. If you didn't try it, try it right now. Okay, let's go through the answer now. 
okay, so how would I do it? Um, I think it would be very simple. I will say, uh, okay, so if you give me abbreviation, I just have to pass it as an index. So like, for example, states abbreviation, right? So if you give me NC and you pass NC to that giant dictionary, it'll go and it'll find NC. Let's see, NC is right here, North Carolina. And then it'll just print out this uh, value. That's how dictionaries work. If you index it by the key, you get back the value. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do states here. Whoops. And I think that should work. I think that's that should be the solution. Now let's try running it and let's see what happens. I get back North Carolina and California. Here it says that if I do NC, I should get back North Carolina. And we do NC and we do indeed get back North Carolina. So as far as we are concerned, we have solved this challenge. Okay, beautiful job. That's it for this video, guys. If there are any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll jump in there and somebody or somebody else will to help you out. But hopefully you're following these challenges so far. My new course called Create Apps with Python comes out this June 26th, okay? So with these new skills that you got from doing these challenges, you're now ready to be able to create apps, real world apps that you can put into the hands of other people so then they can use it as well and you can land your first client with Python because my goal is to start getting you paychecks with Python, okay? So that's it for this video, guys. As always, I love your guys' faces off. If you see the link for the new course, sign up for the waiting list of that course so you're the first one to join. That's it, and I'll see you in the next video.